A lot of people around here know DJ Carton as a great athlete, a star basketball player during his time at Bettendorf High School, who went on to Ohio State. Most people don't know he endured some very dark days after starting college. He was a standout who was struggling with celebrity and the pressures that come with it. Over the next three nights, he shares his story with local force Corey Rolden, beginning with that downward spiral. Some were questioning why DJ was acting differently, but sometimes it's just best to stop and listen. Tonight, how he fought that battle within. In 2018, DJ Carton was a junior at Bettendorf High School and all looked well from the outside looking in. He was a great basketball player, had many big time Division I offers, he had a loving and supporting family. But under the surface, DJ was dealing with emotional health issues. I've had depression since senior high school, um, maybe junior year. Um, I started kind of noticing it then. Um, I mean, it, it was scary just because I didn't really do anything about it. I started kind of changing as a person. The people who I love knew, uh, around me knew it. And, um, you know, I was just kind of um, oblivious to the fact that I was changing. We started seeing some changes in him, um, behavior-wise. I mean, just um, enough it was a 17 and you're going up to be kind of a man and you want to stretch your legs kind of and yeah. kind of test those boundaries. He called me one day. And I was driving on the interstate on 74, headed down to Cambridge for work. And, um, and I got a call from him and he just said, Mom, he goes, I need to share something with you. He said, I, I feel really down and I don't feel like myself. And I said, okay, can you expand a little bit more? And he said, I just don't feel happy, you know. I should be happy and I don't feel happy. And I said, okay, you know, I said, we'll talk more when I get home, you know. And I just remember pulling over and just sitting there and I started, I'm sorry. I started to cry um, because, you know, I'm in the medical field. So I, I knew that, um, that that was depression. As DJ was dealing with these issues, his fame was getting larger, something he did not know how to deal with. When you're not recruited at that high level, I don't think you really understand the challenge that that it lies in those kids and the pressure that is put on them. And, and I'm not sure if that's what's triggered it or not, but for me, I just saw a, a different DJ and I didn't know if the pressure was getting to him, uh, if it was overwhelming, because he's a pleaser and he didn't want to let anybody down and he knew there was a lot of people that wanted him. DJ made his decision. He would attend Ohio State University, which is about seven and a half hours away from the Quad Cities. The Cartons wanted to make sure they were close enough to DJ if he needed them. We bought it. We ended up buying a condo there. And to be truly honest with you, like, who does that? You know, I mean, some people do, and then their kids live in it. My kid couldn't even live in it, and we bought a condo there. Something in my instincts, I was all over him to do it. At Ohio State, the pressure of playing basketball only grew, which made DJ's conditions worse. But then it was the Northwestern game, and I went with my family, and Coach Clark was there. And um, what I don't even think anybody knows is that during that game, DJ had his best game. And during that game, he was actually having to run over to the garbage can and vomit. And then they would take him back into the locker room um, to try to feed him. Well, prior to that game, we talked to him, and he hadn't eaten in four days. At this point, he had lost about 25 pounds. I would say it came down to a time when um, when I really, uh, I remember sleeping at night in my bed in college just by myself, and I was just like thinking to myself, like, I don't even want to be here no more. At this time, DJ did not love the game of basketball anymore and started questioning why he was at Ohio State. It would get worse for Carton before it would get better. From Bettendorf, I'm Corey Rolden, Local 4 Sports. Tomorrow night at 5 o'clock, we hope you join us. DJ's decision to leave Ohio State and how that led to his journey to get help.